Hello there! This is Jo again. Studying DNA structure can sometimes be tricky and boring. To make it interesting, hands-on activities are included to help retain information. So today, we are going to fold our own DNA. We are going to have DNA origami. This is how we do it. I have prepared a template here. I got this from the internet, but I enhance it by adding the backbone here with an alternating sugar and phosphate. As for sugar, P for phosphate. So sugar, phosphate, sugar, phosphate. The same here, sugar, phosphate, sugar, phosphate, and that goes down there. Now notice that this template has darker lines. Here we have the horizontal lines and here we have the diagonal lines. We also have a dark line here at the center. Take note that these lines are the lines that we are going to fold later. Before we start folding, we need to trim our paper in here by cutting it so only the template remains. Now that we have trimmed our template, we are going to write the nucleotides comprising the DNA. And these are the G for guanine, C for cytosine, A for adenine, and T for thymine. And the base pairing rule is G paired with C, A paired with T, or vice versa. T with A, G with C. So first, we write the DNA sequence that we want. It doesn't matter what order as long as we follow the base pairing rule. Remember to follow the darker lines. Here, the horizontal and here, the diagonal line. So for example, I'm going to write in here G that is paired with C. Here is A paired with T. And I will continue to fill that up until I reach the bottom. In here, you have to follow the dark diagonal lines. So if you write G here, you have to write C here, and then A, and then T. And you do that until you also fill this up. The empty space down here, you can write your name. So I will write mine here, Jaw. So make sure you become consistent with the base pairing rule. Now it is time for us to add aesthetic value to our template in here. What we are going to do is to color this one. I have in here my coding. I will color G, blue, my C, red, my A, yellow, and T, green. And make sure to be consistent all from up here down here. So for example, I have here my first G, so I will color that blue. Then here, I have a C, so I will color red. Here is an A, so I will color it yellow. And my T here, green.
and I will do this until I color all the triangles that I have in this template. Here now is our colored template. Notice the consistency. We have all blue for G. We have all yellow for A. We have all uh, red for C and green for T. We are now ready to fold our template. Let's start by folding at the center. This dark line here at the center. Make sure to crease it properly. On the other side. Next, we fold the sides in opposite directions. So this side and this side. We do it like this, away from us. And the other side also, away from us. So now, this is how it looks like. Make sure to crease properly. Next, we are now going to fold the darker horizontal lines. Horizontal. So we are going to fold these lines away from us. We can do it this way. Fold it like this. Make sure to crease properly. Next line. And we do this until we finish. So we are now done folding all the horizontal lines. So notice that it is forming like a cylinder. Now, what we are going to do next is to fold our dark diagonal lines. So see, this diagonal lines here, we are going to fold that. Make sure that it is straight. Or all diagonal lines. Or we can start on the other side so that we can fold it away from us. Fold it also like that, away from us. Okay, so notice that our uh, origami is now forming a helical structure. What we are going to do next is to come to fold combining both the horizontal lines and the diagonal lines. So we can start from here. We start by folding the first diagonal line. Okay. And then you follow that with a horizontal line. And then next, a diagonal line. Next, a horizontal line, a diagonal line, a horizontal line, diagonal line, horizontal line, until you finish folding down to the end. So, at the end, you will see your name being shown there. So, now it looks like this. Now, let us slightly unfold the side back bones in here. And then, we release. Here you go. So, now you have your DNA. And this is showing the, uh, the structure here, the backbone. And you have the base pairing rule. If you look at it inside, you will see that you are consistent with the base pairing rule. You have the A with T and G with C. 
So there you go. Your DNA origami. If you find this useful and you learn something from this, you click subscribe and bell button so you get alerted of the new videos. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye!